So some people came to see the Apostle Philip and said, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. They wanted to see Jesus because he was feeding people with good things. This reminds me of uh, what a parent does for a child. A parent feeds a child with good things. I know even now, when I visit my, my mother, who is almost 93 years old, she always wants to feed me. She also wants to listen, to listen to me too. So she asks a lot of questions. Listening is, in a sense, being fed, but also it's uh, feeding the one who is speaking too, because they're being listened to. Jesus said, unless a grain of wheat falls upon the ground and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Of course, Jesus was speaking about his own dying, his dying that would give us new life through his death and resurrection. It also speaks of what we are doing during the season of Lent as we approach uh, the celebration of the, the Paschal festivities, looking more and more at ourselves and being called to, to die to self, uh, to die to selfishness, because love is really selfless. I remember working with couples in a marriage preparation program. I was really consoled by the love they had for each other. A love that was really uh, came through time together. A love that went from probably uh, more of a selfish uh, kind of love to a love that was more and more selfless, where I think that uh, even though those couples, they committed to living the rest of their lives together, I think they really could have, uh, they could live eternity together too. It's the, the kind of love that we are called to. You know, there's a, an allure to selfishness, but you know, the fruits of selfishness um, won't last. Selfishness may win us friends, but only friends for a short time. Sometimes we think of selfishness as just uh, getting everything that we want. It's also selfishness to, um, to try to give everybody else what, what they want too. It's different than the love, the selfless love of Jesus. Jesus who really fed people with good things, the good things that they need. And too, when we come to Jesus today, we come to be fed fed with those good things we need. They may not always be the things that we want and desire. Jesus feeds us with the, the good things that we need. And over time, we'll see that bear out. I think I saw that too in these couples who were preparing uh, younger couples for marriage through the marriage preparation program. Let us pray that as we approach Holy Week, we may die more and more to selfishness and bear the fruit of selfless love for one another. And I wish you and your family uh, a very holy week and happy Easter.